<laughs> Hello and welcome to the crazy loop that we like to call Cruise Line. It is our final exam interview with, that's right, Mariah White. Says that right below her face there. It says it right behind us. So yes. it's Mariah. Mariah, how you feeling? Feeling good. Feeling excited and ready to be done. Ready? Oh, me too. <laughs> ready to be done. <laughs> you know? Um, what are you looking forward to most this summer? Um, well, I'm starting cross country, which is new for me. And uh, I'm excited for that. And I made varsity for cheer. So it's just a lot of sports, a lot of new things trying out this summer, so that's what I'm excited for. So why cross country? Um, because I run track, and now they have me run like longer distance sprints, so I need to get my endurance up, and cross country you run miles. Right. So I'll be able to build the strength, and it'll help my times go down for track. Yeah, my daughter did cross country, so I'm very familiar with that. <laughs> yeah, it's, I've never done it, and like towards the end of the season, we had me like practicing with the distance, and I'm like, this is a lot, but it'll, it's, <laughs> it'll be worth it, so. It'll be great, you know, and it's something, I've noticed this about runners, once you start running, you keep running. You never stop. You just keep going. Like even since the season has ended, I've ran every day. So it's like you can't stop running because then you'll lose it so fast. Right. So it's just like a never-ending thing. But it also makes you feel really good. Mm -hmm. It makes you feel like I don't know, like productive and like like oh, I'm not just laying around. Like when I'm just laying around, I'm like I could go run. So then I just get up and run. And th that's awesome. Yeah. That is awesome. And you know. So let's talk about other things that made you feel good <laughs> this year in this class. You won an award. Tell me a little bit about that. Um, I won the Macomb Prosecutor's Award for the safety in school. And I won $1,000, which was really crazy and surprising. I didn't expect to win it all. And, so. and how nice. It was a nice presentation. We had a nice little interview. Yes. Sadly, we couldn't air it. <laughs> but um, it, was, it, it was so good to have him here and, you know. Get to talk to him and meet them and, yeah. Yeah, and you've got, a, I'm, I'm going to hold this to the end, but I'm going to ask, you've got some different plans next year. Yes, so I go, I tried to get into Cass Tech. I did not get in, but I got into Renaissance and King. So now it's just like I could go or it's like I could stay, and now I'm just debating because it was like Cass was my first choice, and I never really looked into King and Renaissance as much. So it was like I don't really know how I feel about that anymore. But like Renaissance is a good school. They just wear uniforms. Their track team and like sports aren't as good. So it's just like kind of like in the middle now. Well, you just gotta try and figure out what you yeah. want to do and what's best for you. Um, yeah. Speaking of things that are good for you, you did a great job on your website. We Thank were looking you. at it earlier. Um, and we're gonna pull this up and it says watch my reel. I learned this. <laughs> it says watch my reel. We should watch the reel where it says watch my reel. So, let's see if it comes up. Here we go, let's go. When you think of high school, one of the first things you think about is extracurricular activities. Lance Cruz High Schools offer lots of different sports and clubs. Today, you'll be hearing from the boys' basketball team and staff about how basketball has impacted them as athletes and students. We'll also get an exclusive inside look at one of their most important practices for their upcoming district game against Sterling Heights. This year has been a great season for the varsity. I think they come with a, a different mindset. I think they come uh, as far as uh, they're able to work, they work harder, um, they play more together, and I think they're just um, they're hungry to win. I feel like it means a lot more this year. Like everybody has a reason to play hard and we're trying to win a district, hopefully a regional and a state title too. We have the most potential to do stuff in the state playoffs and it's been the most fun team that I've ever been around with a coach's hand. I'm Riot, and if you're a beginner at video making and want to learn how to produce a good interview, this is the video for you. Here are the main things you need to know. Shot composition is super important when conducting an interview. You never want to play in white background. Always add depth and make sure your background relates to the subject of your interview or the interviewee. Another really important quality of a good interview is lighting. Never film in a dark space. Always film somewhere with good quality light that your subject will be seen in. Always follow the rule of thirds. Make sure your interviewee has enough headroom but not too much and make sure they're not in, directly in the middle of the camera but either to the left thirds or the right thirds. 
One of the biggest things in an interview is audio. Always use a microphone. Jiffy Can Center offers lots of different CTE courses and teach life skills that aren't offered in regular high schools. One of their most popular courses is culinary arts. The culinary arts course is a two-semester class, so they how to cook for themselves and also the basic skills of how to work in a kitchen. So I, I like the class because it teaches students real-world uh, job skills. They come through the program and they learn to run a kitchen. They learn how to operate the equipment. They learn sanitation safety, knife skills. But more importantly is they learn to cook for themselves. As you listen to the student athletes, they all agree and say that with them playing their sport, they have gotten better and it's pushed them to have better grades so they can continue to play. Education is just as important and we do check progress reports and grades monthly and they have to keep a certain grade to be on the team. University of Kansas did a study on the effect of sports and grades, and the study shows that athletes perform better in school and are more likely to graduate than non-athletes. School. Hey, well, we're not going to play this ad. No coupons or sales required. Okay, bye, Aldi. Five words. You pronounce Wow, look at that. Okay. Your brain starts shutting down. Can we Dementia is now known as type 3 diabetes, according to the mayor. Wow. Okay. I can't get this day. Thank you in the <laughs> booth. Oh, you guys took over my mouse. Okay, that's why. Because I'm like, why won't my mouse work? Stop taking over the mouse. Thank you. Love you. <laughs> There's a whole point to me having a mouse here. <laughs> All right. So, we can go back to camera two if you want to. Look at us. We're back. We're back. <laughs> We're back. That was a great reel. Thank you. And lots of cool experiences. And uh, as we were talking while the reel was playing, you have a lot to think about over the summer. Yes, a lot to debate on and a lot of decisions to make, which I don't like making decisions. So it's going to be very tough. A lot of big decisions. Yes. So if you could go back in time and talk to little Mariah White and tell her one piece of advice, what would you give her? Um... I would tell her to start running sooner and I would be like motivate myself because I've always been a very lazy person like very lazy like last minute procrastinate so I tell myself like to like keep going and like there's things that are waiting for you if like you start working harder sooner like I feel like if I would have started working harder like maybe like years ago I'd probably be a lot further and like doing a lot different thing things differently now than I would be. That is great advice and we're gonna leave with that so we're gonna say don't procrastinate yes got a big summer ahead enjoy every minute it's been a pleasure Thank having you. you in class yes Mariah. i love being I am here. gonna miss you <laughs> have a great summer Thank you. You and too. we are going to say as we do one two three bye, bye.